Jenny, come on. You don't miss it. Tell them to start without me. I need to check on Marie. Uh, she'll be fine. You don't need to check on her every five minutes. Come on, it's starting. Okay, you're right. For the best part of my later years, I worked as a private investigator. I'd seen many a terrible case. Sadly, most of them unresolved. But in 1954, something terrible and far closer to home happened that I could not avoid. And it happened right here, in Daily View. The police are here. What on earth is all the commotion? Oh. Now where's my camera? I need to see what's going on outside my window. Now, I can get a closer look. What on earth is all the commotion? I wonder if Catherine is with them. I'm not zoomed in enough to see. That's Tony Morgan's blood. My God, I, I hope he's all right. Please let him be all right. Harold Levy owns most of the flats in Daily View. I wonder if he saw something. Shirley Downs. She runs the Crow's Nest. Her office overlooks the courtyard. Bound during a production. Dear God. Charlotte May, Mr. Morgan's daughter, has been kidnapped. Smashed plant pot. 
I, I must have slipped through it. I should have come to my window sooner. Theodore and Annabelle McKee, I believe. I really should get to know my neighbors better. It's too far away. I'll have to zoom in. Chloroform? What on earth? Old Mrs. Doer. She's usually peering through her window, watching our neighbors. It's past her bedtime. A kidnapping right on my doorstep. Who doesn't be thinking about? Imagine if it was Catherine. Time to pay my neighbors a visit and see what they know. I must ask Catherine if she'll get me some more shopping.
Charlotte May could only be seven or eight years old. Why would someone want to take her? It doesn't make any sense. Hello, Mr. Conway. Good evening. Terrible what's happened, isn't it? So you know what happened? Uh, they're looking for a kidnapper. Uh, a search is about to start in the Pine Woods. My sister, Shirley, she owns the pub across the way. The searchers are all meeting there first. What do you know about the kidnapping, Mr. Conway? Uh, not much. That's why I'm talking to the pair of you. You should talk to the old busybody over in her big manor house. Mrs. Doer. She knows everything that goes on here. I wouldn't be surprised if she saw the kidnapper. I wouldn't be surprised if she was the kidnapper. That's an awful thing to say. Well, have you seen her? Always fawning over that little girl. All alone in that big house. Plenty of room to hide someone. I can see that you've put a lot of thought into this, Mrs. McKee. A little too much, love. Well, I'm not the only one who thinks it. Oh, blast. What time is it? Uh, it must be a little after midnight by now, surely. The search is starting without me. I have to get my coat. Uh, you'll forgive me, Mr. Conway? Uh, yes, good night. Good night, Mr. Conway. Uh, we'll talk again soon. Good evening, Mr. Levy. Evening. How strange times we live in when a girl can be taken on her doorstep. You ain't wrong. It's a bloody mess. Did you see what happened at all? No. Uh, how well did you know Charlotte May? You lived next door. You must have seen her a lot. I hope they're going to clean all this mess up tonight. I've got a business to run. I'm sure this must be a great inconvenience to you. Huh. That reminds me. Rent day tomorrow. Don't be late. I haven't forgotten. Good. Keep it that way, and we'll get along just fine. May I ask what you were doing tonight? No. Way, may I have a moment? Do you know what's happened? Never mind all that. Your daughter is a police officer, is she not? 
she is. Here, I found this. What's this, then? A brooch. I found it on the floor here. It probably belonged to that poor girl. Thought I'd better pick it up before Shirley Downs gets her mitts on it. What do you mean by that? Never mind. Perhaps you can make sure it finds its way to your daughter. I will. And thank you for telling me. Just doing my duty. Can you tell me what you meant about Shirley? Good night, Mr. Conway. Did you see anything else at all? Just make sure to give your daughter that brooch. Miss Downs, do you have a moment? I'm, I'm sorry. What, what did you say? I can come back if you need some time. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe this is happening so close to home. Well, maybe I can. What do you mean by that? Not everyone in Daily of You is as they seem, Mr. Conway. Miss Downs, who are you referring to? That son of a bitch right there, with the smug look on his face. Uh, Mr. Levy? <laughs> Why not? I mean, what do you really know about him? Well, I pay him my rent once a fortnight, but no other than that. I didn't really speak to the man. Well, sadly I do. He's up to something. You must have noticed all the strange deliveries coming and going at night. You think he took Charlotte May? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Downs, uh, what are you basing this on? Experience, Mr. Conway. You'll excuse me, I, I need to help the police with their search. Oh, there's Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan must have taken quite a hit. Hello, Mr. Morgan. My name is Robert Conway. I live in flat 23. Yes, uh, I've seen you around, Mr. Conway. Well, you see, I thought I'd better come over and check you're okay. Some of our neighbors seem to be content just to stare. I'm so sorry to hear about your daughter. Very kind of you. I'm sorry, but I'm late joining the search. I've been talking to the police for over an hour. Of course, I understand. The police officer you spoke to was most likely my daughter. Is that so? Yes, she's a very determined young lady. If anyone is going to find your daughter, it's her. I was once a private investigator myself, so... Well, it's comforting to know I'm surrounded by such competent minds, Mr. Conway. I'd like to offer my services too, if you'd permit me. That's very kind, but I, I don't have money, I'm afraid. Oh, Mr. Morgan, no. I'm a father myself. I meant to say that I'm a 
at your disposal. Very generous, but the police said that... All I'd be doing is observing and talking to people. And if I find anything, I'll be sure to share it with Catherine. Catherine? Uh, my daughter, the police officer. Right, of course. Um, that reminds me. I have this brooch. Does this mean anything to you? That's Charlotte Mays. You see how the simplest detail can be overlooked. Even by the police. Best to have as many eyes on the case, in my experience. Oh, I see your point. May I have it back, please? Would you mind if I kept onto it for a day or so, in case it proves to have some use? Ye yes, of, of course. If you think it would help. I would very much like you to return it, though. As soon as I have something to report back to you, you have my word. So, where do you suppose you'd begin? Well, right here. I in Dahlia View? Yes. It's my experience that it's usually someone who knows the victim. Do you mean to tell me that one of my neighbors has my girl? Uh, no, no. I I'm merely saying that it's a logical place to start. Now I see. That's why the police searched my house. Because I'm a suspect, I suppose. Well, that's the way it works, I'm sorry to say. So they're not even looking for the real kidnapper? I, I can assure you they will be. Tell me, Mr. Conway, and be honest. Are you going to look for my girl? I promise you, I'll stop at nothing until I find her. For now, I need you to think of anyone who could have taken Charlotte May. I don't know. Think, anyone or anything at all. Mr. Conway, who do you know who could do such a thing? I see your point. Well, for now, perhaps try to get some rest. Charlotte May needs you to be strong for her. You'll excuse me, Mr. Conway. I'm going to join the search and find my little girl. That's fair enough, Mr. Morgan. Good night, and good luck. Good night, Mr. Conway. Dad? Uh, Catherine. I thought I might bump into you tonight. Well, I shouldn't be here. What with you living so close? Conflict of interest and all. Uh, are you finished here? Almost, yes. Are you okay? Yes, I I'm fine. It's poor Charlotte May I'm worried about. Anyway, look at you. I rarely get to see you in your uniform. You look good. Thank you. I wish it was a little more comfortable. Catherine, can I ask, what have you found? I'm not allowed to tell you. You know that. Besides, I don't have all the details myself, and my sergeant isn't exactly forthcoming with new recruits. Well, hang in there. You're an asset. They'll come to see how intelligent you are. Thank you. All I can say is that it looks as though Tony Morgan's daughter has been kidnapped. Awful news. May I ask why they're searching the Pinewoods? Do they know where the kidnapper went? No. It's a dead end. We're clueless, but we can't be seen to be doing nothing. And the locals suggested the woods, so... Dear God. I perhaps wonder if I should talk to my neighbors again. Hang on, again? Yes, Catherine, I've been thinking, 
and... Dad. What? I know this is happening on your doorstep, but please don't get any ideas. I'm a naturally curious person, you know that. You don't do this anymore. Leave it to us, please. Well, do the police have any ideas? Dad, I mean it. Don't get involved. Well, I'd like to help you. I want to do this on my own. I, I didn't realize what this means to you. I meant to say... I want to do it the right way. By the book. Please promise me. Okay. I, I promise. I'll leave the police work up to you. Thank you. Anyway, I'd better be off. I have to make a statement before the morning press. My sergeant is finally trusting me with something. Well, you'd better hurry. I'll look out for your article in the morning paper. Right. I'm off. Please go back inside. You'll catch a chill. Night, my love. Night, Dad. The last thing I want is to upset Catherine. I can tell how serious she is about her case. I've never seen her so driven. I suppose I'll still develop the photos I've taken of the crime scene. I might have captured something that the police did not. And I won't be stepping on Catherine's toes if I stay in my flat and out of the way. The police have marked out several pieces of evidence that are likely related to the attack. However, Mrs. Doer handed me a brooch that was found at the scene. Mr. Morgan later confirmed it belonged to Charlotte May. Could the brooch be a missing piece of the puzzle? So, if Mrs. Dill was right about where she found the brooch, it means the kidnapper must have come past her manor house at some point during the abduction. Well, I forgot to give Catherine the brooch. There just hasn't been a good time. Well, it sounds like I have mail. Now what's this?
Mr. Morgan's note implicates most of his neighbors. I had suspected as much, but now I have something solid to work with. Catherine has asked me not to get involved, but I've already promised Mr. Morgan I'll find Charlotte May. I should have told Catherine there and then. I'm already involved. I can feel it again, that drive, that first pull at the yarn. It's all on this evidence board. Suspects, victims, items found at the scene. I have everything. All that remains is to watch over my neighbors until one of them makes a mistake, and I can still give Catherine her space. If the whole town is searching the Pinewoods, someone needs to keep an eye over Dahlia View. I've been sitting watching my neighbors on and off for hours, but I've seen nothing of any use for my evidence board. Tony Morgan suggested that the McKees were acting strangely around Charlotte May. I heard Theodore return home earlier this evening, but didn't manage to get a glimpse. Charlotte May is counting on me to find her, but so far I draw a blank. Perhaps the McKees are innocent. Only time will tell. Oh, Mr. Morgan is writing missing posters by hand. He's been there all evening. People are leaving flowers on Mr. Morgan's doorstep as if Charlotte May is already dead. Is that blood? It's draining from their pantry. Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. But by their account, they didn't see much at all. Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? He seems quite eager to talk. Theodore looks unhappy about, I don't know what, he's pacing back and forth, it seems heated. Oh, 
I still have no idea what the problem is. Perhaps this is what Mr. Morgan was talking about. Now, Annabelle is... Uh, Annabelle has seen something just out of my view. Whatever it is, she's horrified by it. What on earth is it? What are you thinking, Annabelle? What can you see? She's got a knife. Oh, Jesus, she's going to... No. She wants Theo to use it. He doesn't know which one to use. Whatever it is, uh, take pause of yourself. Theodore is carrying the mallet. Whatever is in that pantry is alive. It, it can't be Charlotte May. Can it? Yeah. Who are you talking to? Is that a practice swing? Dear God. What have I just witnessed? Some time has passed since I saw Theo hit something with a mallet. I didn't actually see anything. No proof. I have no evidence at all. Annabelle is back at the door. Okay, hurry. Go. Go! What in God's name? Well, if you would help me... I'm not touching that thing. That thing was your idea. My idea. <laughs> oh, Christ. Get it out of here. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Hurry up! Mr. 
Mr. Morgan. Hello, Annabelle. Lovely evening. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Please, if you don't mind, I have something... It's just all so sad, isn't it? Please, I really do need to be going. Oh, I'm so sorry, of course. It's fine, Annabelle. If there's anything I can do, you won't hesitate to ask. Damn it, what should I do? Catherine asked me not to get involved. But, but, but this... It's not over until it's over. I think I need to pay the McKees a personal call. 